First nice day of the year. <clears throat> it's about time. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice temperature today and so it was a good opportunity to take a radio out. Well, this is the tree I used to throw my antenna into. So uh, not going to happen today. I did bring the W3EDP antenna. And that's a very simple antenna. Uh, kind of a uh, bastardized ZEP um, sort of. It's made up of 17 feet of uh, 450 ohm ladder line and a 67 uh, foot length of wire. Now I did order the wrong type of wire. This is not insulated. And I should have read the description a little more carefully, and um, I guess it's my fault. So um, eventually I'll replace it, but uh, I'm pretty curious about this antenna. It has a good reputation. So uh, I'll try to uh, throw it in a tree, and uh, we'll give it a try. Best advice I can give you about throwing a wire up a tree. Don't use a spool like I'm doing here. First of all, you're going to end up with a mess like uh, this one or you're going to hurt yourself, guaranteed. Now I'm going to lose a bit of that wire and I have to do it again. And I wish I had a fishing reel, uh, something I need to get because uh, that's the way to go. So at the end here we have a simple insulator. The 67 foot wire is connected to one end of the ladder line. The uh, other end of the ladder line goes to the radio. I have marked the uh, center wire here with a red piece of wire and uh, this goes into the antenna connection here and the other wire goes to the ground. Again I have underestimated the length of the wire, that's 84 feet of wire. So the ladder line here goes around the tree and then, oops, sorry for the sun, and then into the wire, into uh, up a tree over there. Here's a shot from the other side and you'll see much better. Around the tree, up, up, up to the next one. I'm not sure how the tuning is going to work out here. Um, I need to find the right setting, which I have no idea what that's going to be. E seems to be louder. I don't know. I'm going to try E. E setting and I'm going to start on one and see what happens. So I'm looking at the uh, gauge here on the upper left corner and it's not moving, so not good. Maybe I'll try E5. Nothing. The bridge is in place, so that's not it. D maybe? It's D1? So I have a very bad match on 20 meter using the uh, antenna position here. I don't even get uh, the needle to move. And I'm on E9 maximum setting on the tuner. Now if I go to LP I get a deflection so but it's not uh, it's not good. Um, I could try to, maybe I'll try to make a contact, but it's definitely not going to work well. And now I have installed the whip with my uh, 10 meter counterpoise. And we'll look at the tuning and I'm on C2. No surprise, 
I get an excellent match. So let's do some, uh, let's make some contacts and uh, I'll try the uh, W3 EDP a little bit later on a lower band 40 meter or uh, 80 meter. You'll notice that I got myself a little uh, voltmeter here and my battery is at 24.1. Now it's not flickering uh, when I look at it, I don't see it, but uh, the camera is showing that. Anyway, I just want something a little more precise than the uh, battery check uh, on the RT320. You know it's pretty nice out here, especially today with the sun. People bicycle, they hike, but uh, some people still find a way to throw away garbage everywhere. You'd think the French would be more mindful of nature, but uh, not always. Trot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Man pack portable. Correct, uh, correct. Uh, Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee in the north of France. Uh, and you are a five here near Lille, Lima, India, Lima, Lima, Echo, QSL. QSL, Gilles, okay, QSL, uh, 1% uh, I gave report 5 and 5 here, portable, come here, 5 and 5, okay, Gilles, over. Very good, uh, thank you. Uh, I do not have an S meter, so I can only say you are a five here, five, operating a uh, PRC. 320 uh, military man pack uh, portable with a 2.5 meter whip uh, antenna QSL. Okay, Gilles. thank you, thank you. Uh, Fox, uh, four, whiskey, bravo, young, strict, one portable. Seven, three, and many thanks, Bye bye. Thank you very much and have a good night. And please uh, give me your call sign again. Uh, thank you. Marcus, DK0DIG, gave me a 5-9 report.
Thanks. For information, dear Gio, G I L. GL Green Radio. <laughs> ah, he says goodbye already. I guess that was a bit long for him. And I just got an RF burn on my finger a few seconds ago when I touched the uh, the fin here. So there is a, some uh, common mode current coming back to this radio from the W3 EDP and that doesn't surprise me. But it's working pretty well it seems. At least on the lower bands, uh, 80 meter, I'm sure it would work well as well uh, also on uh, 40 meter, maybe 30. But not a good candidate for 20 meter for sure. I think the uh, counterpoise uh, ladder line should be shorter for that. Uh, I think 6 feet instead of 17 if I remember well. But uh, yeah, it's working pretty well. Just be careful uh, about touching your radio while you're transmitting because uh, here with 30 watts uh, it is a little bit weird. So you can see here on this uh, reverse beacon network uh, report that the uh, W3 EDP worked extremely well on 80 meter. I mean, I had reports here of uh, up to 36 decibels over uh, noise level, which is crazy. Uh, nothing under 10 decibels. So uh, it's really, really an awesome result. It worked very, very well on 80 meter. I didn't have time to uh, test it on 40 or 30 meters. Uh, that will be for another video. This one is long enough. Uh, but uh, thumbs up uh, at least on 80 meter for the uh, W3 EDP. Have a good one.